you know, the, the Hunter Biden laptop story, the laptop from hell is not really about Hunter Biden. It's about Joe Biden. And it's mm -hmm. about the fact that all these tens of millions of dollars have compromised him. Biden, this laptop uh, that intelligence officials have warned or is likely Russian disinformation. I get pretty fired up about how this works because, hey, look, I mean, if the New York Post tells you your mom loves you, you should check it out. We are not talking about fully reliable sources here. Feels like a, a repeat from last cycle. It's the, you know, but her emails again, and it's kind of ridiculous. Featuring all the usual suspects, Hunter Biden, mysterious emails, Ukrainian businessman, dot, dot, dot. Obama. So, Director, a bunch of questions from this. Let me just start with this. How much does the source matter, right? So you hear the story of this laptop. We don't know a lot. We do know that the, the way that this information is getting out is through Steve Bannon and Rudy Giuliani. How much uh, do the, the does the source matter here? Well, the source matters a lot, and, uh, and the timing matters a lot, I think. And to me, this is uh, just classic uh, textbook uh, Soviet-Russian uh, tradecraft at work. Uh, the Russians have analyzed the target. They understand that the president and his enablers uh, crave uh, dirt on Vice President Biden. Whether it's real or contrived, it doesn't matter. You know, the, the Hunter Biden laptop story, the laptop from hell, is not really about Hunter Biden. It's about Joe Biden. And it's mm -hmm. about the fact that all these tens of millions of dollars have compromised him uh, in the eyes of at least Russia and China and Ukraine, um, these countries that are adversaries, and uh, certainly Russia and China. And um, the people of Russia and China, I mean, President Xi and Vladimir Putin, they know exactly what Joe Biden did for that money. They know how much money went into the bank accounts of his family and, uh, and friends, and uh, the American people don't know. The rest of the world doesn't know, and I think that is a big problem, and those, uh, those 51 intelligence uh, officials are uh, largely to blame, and so that's why we went to each one of them and we asked them if they now had an apology, wanted to rescind their claim that the laptop was Russian disinformation. Not one of them apologised, uh, and uh, a few of them did respond, but like James Clapper, um, former head of the NSA, they uh, just doubled down. They said they were right. Uh, these people will never admit what they did.